Hi, this is Wally with Supreme Isopods. Thanks for joining me today. We have three new isopods, well, two isopods that are new, and one that I'm replacing. Stay tuned and I'll tell you what happened with the one isopod, and I'm going to show you these two new ones. So excited about these. The Isopod Vlog I won't hold you in suspense. About six months ago, I picked up a culture of Purcellio Valencia, I'm not sure what happened, but within just a week, after I had them for about four months or so, in about a week's time, I lost every single one. No idea what happened, but I'm replacing that culture, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at these right now. I hope you didn't see that other one, because I was hoping to show that a little bit later in the video. All three of these isopods I got from the isopod chick at the latest Show Me Reptiles and Exotic show, and I couldn't be more pleased. I've had great success working with Brittany at the isopod chick, and looking at these already, I see some beautiful, beautiful animals. I'm going to get closer views of all three of these. Valencia is kind of a grayish brown animal. They're a little delicate. They're not terribly delicate, but they do require a little bit more attention. The next isopod, and the next two isopods I've been waiting for for a long time, the next one is Porcelio Flava Marginatus. Let's take a quick peek at them. Brittany, these new cups that you're using are hard to open. Okay, let's take a peek at these. And again, we're going to get some better shots in just a moment. I just love these flat isopods. This is one of those giant Spanish isopods, and they will take some attention, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. And this next one is Porcelio Werneri. And this is the one that I've wanted for about a year and finally had the opportunity to obtain them. Again, I want to thank Brittany for these wonderful, wonderful isopods. And I'm really, really happy to be working with these. I'm trying to open this cup and I just envision myself dumping all of the contents all over the place. Okay, let's take a look at this. Hopefully I can find them pretty quick here. There they are. Look at them go. So we need to come up with a name for these flat Porcelios, another giant Spanish isopod, but like the fl Flavor Marginatus and these Warner Eye and the Spatulatus, we need to think of a name for these, some kind of a unique identifier for them. So if you can think of something that we can call these flat isopods, leave a comment below. In the meantime, let's go ahead and put them away and get a better picture of these guys. Okay, all three of these enclosures are going to be basically the same. We have a lot of dry area over on this side. We have a couple of pieces of cork bark for hides. We have some dry decaying wood. I'll probably add more uh, as we go on. Sphagnum moss for the moist side. We have calcium you can see, hopefully you can see right there in the corner. The substrate is made up of jungle mix and compost dirt. I've added a bunch of leaves to the substrate, and I've added leaves, obviously, to the top here. So I think we're all set to go. Let's go ahead and, pat Let's go ahead and add them in. This first group is Porcelio Valencia. And let's go ahead and add them right on top of this cork bark and see if we can get a, a good view here. And this is really, really a great mix of isopods that Brittany has sent me. 
I'm real happy with these. You can see my finger here. The size is medium. It's not a small animal. It's not a big animal. It's just the perfect size. A lot of growing out time. Lots of time for it to mature and have babies. Hopefully have babies. Let's add the rest here real quick. And these are a 10 count for all three of these cultures. And I'm sure Brittany added probably 11 or 12. And I can just see them running all around. This one just is comfortable just sitting there. So let's go ahead and check out the other cultures. This next group is the Flavor Marginatus, Persilio Flavor Marginatus. And I'm going to see if I can get a couple to go on this cork bark here so we can get a real nice look at them. I'm going to hope that that focuses. Again, Brittany has sent just a perfect, perfect size. I so appreciate this. These are young adult, well, these are nice, big juveniles. So they're not babies. They're not adults. They're not even sub-adults. These are just great, great sizes. Let me see if I can get another couple on this cork bark. Nice, flat, Porcelio, giant Spanish isopod. A little bit difficult. We're really, really going to have to watch these. And I'm going to go ahead and add the rest to the uh, enclosure here. Again, this enclosure is set up exactly like the last enclosure. Lots and lots and lots of dry area with a nice moist area for them. Okay, we're all set. They seem to like their new home. Let's take a look at that last culture. Again, this is Porcelio warneri. This was one of the top isopods on my wish list for the last year. I wish I had pictures of these as adults because they're just magnificent. Let's go ahead and add a couple to the culture here and see if we can get some, some pictures of them. Beautiful white skirt, flat, big isopod. And again, these are juveniles, so I'm very, very pleased with these animals. Exceptional isopods. You can see the size is just perfect. I want to thank Brittany, the isopod chick, one more time for these wonderful, wonderful isopods. We're going to go ahead and put them away. We'll watch them grow up and hopefully I'll have some future videos and maybe with any luck we'll get some babies from these. Thanks for watching isopod fans. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification all so you don't miss another video. And thanks again for watching.